Let's look at a probability tree problem. Okay? So a trainee has two tests, A and B. The probability of passing A is 0.8. If the trainee passes A, the probability of passing B is 0.9. If they fail at A, the probability of passing B is 0.6. So at this stage, it's best to then draw the tree diagram. So, we've got two tests, A and B, for which you can either pass or fail. Okay? Now, if uh, the probability of passing A is 0 0.8, so pass, 0, pass A, you get 0 0.8. And if they fail, then that must be a probability of 0 0.2, because those probabilities need to add up to 1. If the trainee passes A, the probability of passing B is 0 0.9. So if they pass A, the probability of passing B is 0 0.9, so failing will be 0 0.1. And if they fail A, the probability of passing B is 0 0.6, so failing will be 0 0.4. OK, so this is the tree diagram that we're working on that we're working from. First of all, find the probability of passing B. So there are two ways of passing B. You can either pass A or you can fail A. So you have 0 0.8 times 0 0.9. So that's 0 0.72. Or you've got fail then pass. So 0 0.2 times 0 0.6, which is 0 0.12. So adding those two probabilities together, we're going to get 0.84. So that's the probability of passing B. Okay. Now, find the probability of passing at least one of the tests. Now, we've worked out uh, the probability of passing A and passing B. We could also work out the probability of passing A and failing B. So 0 0.8 times 0 0.1. So that's 0 0.08. And so, if we're talking about passing at least one of the tests, then they must have passed either A or B or both. And so there are three possibilities. Passing B, passing just A, or passing both. And it's the addition of those three probabilities. So 0 0.08, 0 0.12, and 0 0.72. So 0 0.72 plus 0 0.08 uh, plus 0 0.12. And that gets us 0 0.92. Now you could also work this out from finding the probability that they fail and subtracting that from one, okay? If they fail both. So 0 0.08, one takeaway 0 0.08 is the same as that 0 0.92. So finally, let's write that one in, 0 0.08. So finally, given that a trainee passes B, find the probability that they pass A. So we're going to use the formula. The probability of A given B is the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. So if we're talking about uh, given that a trainee passes B, find the probability that they pass A given that they have passed B will be equal to the probability of passing A and passing B divided by the probability of passing B. So this will be equal to the probability of passing both A and B, which we worked out to be 0 0.72 and divide that by the probability of passing B, which we worked out in part A was 0 0.84. So we have 0 0.72 divided by 0 0.84, which simplifies to 6 over 7. And that is the probability that we're looking for. Okay, And that's how we can solve a problem with a probability tree.